Good morning, Praise International Center Church. Musta po kayo? Ako po si Pastor Nathan Lozada. Uh, I was, I'm based here in Maryland, USA. Uh, my wife is Rina. Uh, I think she might have uh, met you. Uh, kayo po, baka na-meet na siya nung nandiyan siya sa Baguio. So ako po ay uh, uh, in-invite ni Pastor Joel to give uh, a message today. Uh, we know God is good. He has uh, allowed us to um, be in partnership with, for the gospel. So I will let me just uh, give you an, an idea as to ano po yung ministry namin dito sa America. So kami po ni Rina came here in 2003 at nag-plant po kami ng church, Philip Philam Church sa uh, Rally, North Carolina. So, yung church po na yun, ay iniwan din namin noong 2010. And right now, it's still uh, existing. Meron po silang ibang pastor. So, they're going strong 15 years. Um, and Rina is involved basically in missions, uh, mission work in the Philippines. So, kaya nga po sila nagtagpo ni Pastor Joel because of a medical missions and evangelistic uh, outreach po dyan sa Lower Rock Quarry. So, just, yun lang po yung introduction ko about ourselves. And uh, today, I would like to share with you a two stories um, sa Gospel of John, Chapter 6. So, uh, many times po sinasabi sa scripture that we are to encourage one another. Um, kasi po, there are times na uh, nangihina tayo, we are uh, burdened with problems, and uh, we forget that uh, God is near. So, ito po, I, I hope that this message will uh, encourage you, um, and it will, uh, you would remember this when times are tough, when you go through testing, uh, when you go through trials, pag meron pong lack in whatever, uh, kulang po ang pang tuition, kulang ang pambayad sa, sa renta, etc., etc. Or when you are feeling down, you uh, don't know what to do, you are fearful, everything, Lord, uh, that may happen to you, God is there for us. So ito po ang uh, story ng, in John chapter 6. You may be familiar with this, yung the feeding of the 5,000. So let me read from John 6. Um, and a great crowd of people followed Jesus because they had, they saw the miraculous signs he had performed on the sick. So, dumalaki na po yung following ni Jesus. So, marami na pong nakakaalam at gusto siyang uh, malapitan para uh, gumaling. So, sabi dito, Then, Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down with His disciples. So, siguro po natapos na yung kanyang healing ministry. So, of course, kailangan niyang mamahinga. And then, sabi dito, The Jewish Passover feast was near. Uh, it's significant to note that um, kaya po siguro maraming crowd, maraming tao. Kasi malapit na yung Jewish Passover feast. Eh, they are required to, to gather and to perhaps make that pilgrimage to the temple in, in Jerusalem. So, uh, equivalent po say sa atin in modern times, pag malapit na ang Pasko, Okay. Two, two, two uh, holidays, Christian holidays, Christmas and um, Easter Sunday or Good Friday. Nandyan po yung consciousness sa mga tao that they, they need to, uh, to commune with God. Or they, they need to, be, to do something to uh, get close to God. So 
Yan po siguro yung dahilan kaya maraming tao. So when Jesus looked up, it says in verse 5, and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, yung one of the disciples, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? Okay, so matagal na po siguro silang nandoon, yung mga tao. But alam ni Jesus, he knows um, the condition, uh, they are tired probably, and of course hungry, and he wants them not to leave without getting something to eat. So, nung tinanong po niya po ni Jesus si Philip na sinabing, where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? Ang um, comment ni John dito, he asked this, tinanong niya to only to test him. For he already had in mind what he was going to do. So ang sagit ni Philip is, Lord, eight months wages would not buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Eight months wages would not buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Uh, ang dami po ng tao dito na kinaw ng uh, mga disciples. Ang kinaw lang po nila is the men because they are like the, the heads of the families. So, 5,000 men times a wife and Sabihin na lang natin, one kid na lang or two kids. So it can be between mm, between 15 to 20,000 people. So definitely, sabi nga ni, you know, ni Philip, Lord, wala tayong ano, bondo. Where, where, where can we get bread? Even if there is supply, okay, eh, wala tayong pambili. Right? So, uh, isa pang... Uh, disciple, his name is Andrew, yung brother ni Peter, spoke up. Ito yung sabi niya, Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? So, sabi ni Andrew, uh, ito yung bata, no? Pero meron nga siyang limang pandesal, tapos dalawang galunggong, but how far will it go? It cannot possibly feed these more than 15,000 people. But take note, ang sabi ni Jesus, hindi niya sinabing uh, it's, it's not possible, but he just said, have the people sit down. So naupupo sila doon. There was plenty of grass. In that place, and the man sat down, about 5,000 of them. And Jesus took those five loaves, and he gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the two small fish. So, try to picture po in your mind na nandung kayo, uh, one of the 5,000 or 10, 15,000 people, you are witnessing Jesus actually perform the miracle of multiplying the bread and the fish. At sabi po dito, when they had, when they had all had enough to eat. So ibig sabihin, hindi po sila nabitin dun sa, sa bread, dun sa pandesal, at dun sa isda. He said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. Can you imagine how how great this miracle was? Meron pang leftovers na sabi na ni Jesus. Bilangin nyo po. Bilangin nyo ang ilan yan. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. Incredible. So, 12 baskets. But kaya significant yan? Makikita natin later. So, after the people saw the miraculous sign that Jesus did, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain. 
by himself. So alam po kasi ni Jesus na yung objective, yung kagustuhan ng mga tao ay gawin siyang hari. Uh, dahil sa nakita nilang galing niya, power niya. Okay? Pero hindi po yun yung uh, pakay ni Jesus. He came here first on this earth to be the suffering Lamb of God. To die on our behalf to take our sins away so that we will be right with God. We will be reconciled to God the Father. Pero babalik po siya. Okay? Meron siyang second coming. Sinabi niya. At doon po, eh, siya po ay eh, makikilala natin siya. Not as a suffering servant, but as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. So, ito pong story na to will remind us that when we are serving with Jesus with, with in the church, when we are following Him, there may be times when we may have problems with provision. Pero po, te, proven and tested na po ang Panginoon is that since we are His children, Okay? And He is our Heavenly Father. Sinabi po niya, prinamis niya, na He will be our provider. Siya lang po. Siya yung ultimate source ng ating provision. And we will not lack. He will provide our every need. Not our every want. Hindi po yung lupo natin. But all that we need to sustain us in this life. So, uh, balikan po natin yung uh, ating partnership dito sa Baguio. So, nung, nung nag-meet po kami ni Pastor Joel, it's just online, no? Hindi um, pa po ako nakabalik dyan since 2019. And so, actually, yung property po nito, kung saan tinatayo yung church is um, a na, namanak po ng mother ko. Okay? Uh, hindi nyo na, na tanong, but si my lolo, I've never met any of my uh, grandparents in person because uh, they were already dead when I was born. So, all I had was yung mga kwento uh, ng mother ko about yung uh, father niya. So, ang um, father niya is no other than the late uh, Vicente, Senator Vicente Soto. Siya po yung author ng Press Freedom Bill uh, Law. Um, he was... A well-known senator from Cebu, and um, of course we're very related to Senator Tito Soto. So, uh, ito po yung bahay niya na to sa Baguio. Ito po yung summer summer home niya. Uh, nasa Baguio siya during the summer. Uh, siya nakatira. So, um, nung namatay na po ang mother ko, eh, tung bahay na to. Eh, may, may nagre-renta na bukod sa hindi na nakakabayan eh ginawa pang from what I, I, I heard is merong mga drinking session tapos baka may drugs pa nga involved so pinag-pray namin naming mag-asawa Lord, ano ba ang will niyo dito sa amin pag napakalis na namin yung tenant can we Make this into a money-making venture. Maybe convert it into a uh, bed and breakfast or a small hotel. So, hindi po yun nag, uh, ano, come into fruition. May mga hadlang. Uh, tapos po, uh, I think, before na meet ni Rina si Pastor Joel, siguro about three months before that, Meron pong kumontak sa akin na 
another pastor na hindi ko actually siya kilala and uh, I'm not going to mention his name kasi nakalimutan ko na rin but he's based in Baguio at uh, nakita daw niya tong property and he was hoping na uh, pwede nilang uh, rentahan so sabi ko well I want to know more about you um, pero of course Okay naman sana, but the thing is, wala po akong background ng taong ito. I didn't know him from anyone. So, medyo hindi po um, panatag ang loob ko na naibigay sa kanya. So, when Pastor Joel came along, uh, tapos um, in-offer niya ito na si um, Sister Christy will be the, the caretaker habang you know, nakaalis na yung dating uh, tenant, we said yes. And then imagine our surprise, uh, I think four months ago, five months ago, na minention ni Pastor Joel na the church is uh, willing to um, renovate it and uh, if possible to, to use it as a, a church uh, building to, to meet. Kasi po, ang pagkaalam ko is uh, PIC has been in existence for 32 years. And um, kayo po yung nagmi-meet in minsan sa, sa bahay ni Pastor Joel. Minsan yata sa hotel. So, parang wala pang permanent venue. So, as uh, I can see God's hand in this na panong niya minatch tayo paano niya uh, sinagot yung uh, prayers niyo so this is this is an answer to to both our our prayers uh, on our end that we would um, use have someone use it for his glory so that the mission of God would spread more people will hear the gospel and more people will uh, come to know Jesus Christ and accept Him as Savior and Lord. So yun po. Uh, kayo po, I'm sure your Pastor Joel and the leaders and the members are have been praying for, for a place. So ito po yun. Ito po yung parang uh, miracle na feeding of the 5,000 from, from a small idea, a small seed. I'm praying that God will really, really use this place to multiply, multiply His disciples, send them all over the world if possible. So yun po, yun yung uh, first uh, story. Yung pangalawa po is, sumunod is also in John, right after, in John uh, chapter 6 verse 16, tapos sabi dito, when evening came. So this the miracle po na susunod is the is Jesus going to walk on the water. So when Jesus well when evening came his disciples went down to the lake where they got into a boat and set off across the lake for Capernaum. By now it was dark and Jesus had not joined them. So meron pong instructions to G see Jesus sa kanila. Uh, si Jesus right now is still in the mountain. Maybe communing with God, praying. Uh, gabi na po. So, they, were, they got into a boat and they are going to cross to go to their hometown of Capernaum. So, siguro, sabi ni Jesus, mauna, mauna na kayo. Okay? Uh, susunod ako. Okay? So, again, this is another test. Okay? Tingnan natin kung anong test, classing testing ito. By now it was dark and Jesus had not joined them. So a strong wind was blowing and the waters grew rough. Okay? So they were rowing okay? sa bangka nila. But sabi dito, verse 19, when they had rowed three or three and a half miles. Okay? So medyo siguro because of the, the rough uh, waves because of the wind blowing, the strong wind, eh, they're not making much progress. Okay, 
So uh, natakot na sila. And then they immediately they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were terrified. But he said to them, it is I. Don't be afraid. Then they were willing to take him into the boat and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading. So imagine, na hirap na hirap na po yung mga disciples rowing three and a half miles, not getting there, rough seas, di nila alam kung magkakapsay sila or yung boat or baka mamatay sila and then they saw a figure walking on the water okay and then they saw that it was Jesus tapos nung sabi inassure siya sila ni Jesus don't be terrified it is i don't be afraid and then nung sumampa na si Jesus sa boat immediately okay para yung miracle din yun eh no bukod sa nagwalk siya sa water once he stepped in the boat, boom, ganon, parang nag, uh, ano, split second, nandun na sila sa destination nila. Okay? So, uh, ang lesson na nakikita ko dito is, yung first, no? nakita natin yung provision ni Jesus, ni God, when we trust Him. And then the second one is yung presence ni Jesus. He gives us peace when we trust in Him. When we turn over our fears and we allow Him to take over. Bago po makalimutan yung miracle of, of the 5,000 because meron po isang important detail dito na sinabi. Huwag natin nakalimutan na yung bata, okay? The boy who offered his lunch. Siguro, for his family, you know, sabi ni mommy o ni daddy, sige, ito, i-offer mo. Dalin mo dun sa harap. Pakita mo kay Jesus sa mga apostles na. So, isipin nyo yun. Eh, kung naging selfish sila, eh, hindi siguro nangyari ito. Pero merong ano eh, merong aral dito for all of us that whatever small thing we have, maybe it's a small talent, maybe it's a um, uh, a talent to, to play or sing, to play an instrument or sing, na wala pa kayong, and of course, simula, wala pa kayong confidence, wala pa kayong training. But if you dedicate yourself to this ministry and say, Lord, this is all I have, please use it. Please multiply it. Please make me an instrument so that your glory, all the glory will be yours and not mine. So yun po, uh, do not underestimate po yung mga small beginnings or small details or small stuff na pwede nyo pong i-alay kay Lord because He will use that Definitely. At kayo po yung mamamangha. You will be surprised how he can take that small offering and do great and mighty things. Okay. So, balik po tayo dito sa miracle na to. Um, sometimes, okay, we, we forget na Jesus is Jesus made a promise. Sabi niya, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Naalala niyo yung ganyang great commission sa Matthew 28. Diba? 
sabi niya, go and make disciples. Okay? Teaching and baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And lo, I will be with you throughout the ages. Okay? I will be with you, sabi niya. So yun po yung panghawakan natin, yung presence niya. We will go through uh, testings and ito po yung dapat hindi natin makalimutan that Jesus is always by our side. I'm sure kayo po yung as a church, maybe nung, since I know your, your church has been 32 years na po, di ba? So definitely, hindi po si Pastor Joel na nagsimula ng or nag-plant ng church. There was someone else, I think, yung original missionaries, from what I recall, na kunento ni Pastor Joel. So, from that seed, okay, so lumago na lumago, but hindi po kasi permanent, no? na lahat ng nagsimula will finish the work. God has other plans for them. So, I guess some of them or most of them are no longer involved or part of uh, the church. Siguro na reassign sila sa ibang lugar. So I can just imagine, nung time na yon, nung minove na sila, there was some great fear o pangamba na papano na lang wala na si pastor so and so. How can we survive? So, kumbaga, sabi ni Jesus, do not be afraid because this is His church. He will take care of it. He will find someone else to be that servant leader to take this, His church to the next level. So, yun po, yun yung uh, gusto ko lang pong i-share sa inyo this morning. Um, may it remind us that when we are in Jesus, ito po, ito po yung summary or the big idea na sana hindi nyo makalimutan. Okay? When we are in Christ Jesus, meaning when we have fully surrendered our life to Him and follow Him all the days of our lives, we can fully trust that he is with us. Okay? Whatever the situation. And when, especially when we are afraid. And that when we are lacking or when we have needs, He will be our great provider. So, because of His power, God's power, okay? He can be our great provider and He will be the great presence that who, who promises to give us peace. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, as we uh, gather today, we thank you for this message that you have imparted on your servant. May it ring true to every listener today, especially at Praise International Center Church. Lord, we dedicate the work here. Thank you, Lord, for the leaders, for Pastor Joel, for his vision. Thank you for the faith of each and every member who has given or will continue to give or will give in the future to this work. Thank you for all the laborers, workers, construction. Thank you for their labor, for their love. It makes it easier, Lord, to see this uh, building finished for your glory. So we pray that as people are trained, are equipped, in this facility, Lord, they will see this as just the first step. 
that the next step will be, as they are equipped, the next step is for them to step out in faith okay, and do evangelism, do missions, share the word, uh, share with students, do the feeding ministry. Lord, we know that uh, this church has many ministries that you will continue to be there to support them, be there to cheer them on. So we pray, Lord, that in the right time, Lord, we, myself and my wife, Rina, will be able to join you, the church, celebrate and see, see what great things the Lord is doing. So thank you, Lord, for your word today. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salamat po. God bless.